Dejan Bailey has been in hot form lately and it continued especially for England as he's now already bagged two goals in two games for England in the EQ. Guys, welcome back to the Player Career Mode series. We're at Man United, as you should already know by now. We're going to be taking on Liverpool at the start of this episode. It's going to be a Northwest Derby clash. And then afterwards, we're going to have the Champions League uh, group phase. It's going to be the first game. So, match day one in Group B. I actually forgot. Group B, we've got Barcelona, Ajax, and Galatasaray. I think we already went over that in the last episode, but it doesn't hurt to do it again. And then we're going to have Newcastle United at home, and we may squeeze in the EFL Cup game, uh, the Carabao Cup third round against Everton. We've already dropped points against them in the league, so let's uh, do one better and knock them out of the competition. I apologise for not being consistent with the player career mode content and the Sunderland content. It's just that the main like career mode has kept me busy. And I already mentioned already, one thing that we may face as an issue in terms of going... Um, on all fronts for every competitions that we don't have a backup striker so if the Jean Bailey gets injured uh, we're relying on a player that's uh, retiring at the end of the season to play as backup so hopefully Ten Hag hits the market by the time we hit January but the winger, the winger roles, the winger positions they're not an issue at all I just know if Bailey's out Rashford's not going to be used as our number nine. I feel like we've done really well to avoid any injuries hindering any uh, game time for Dejan Bailey. We haven't been out injured for a long stint since the RB Leipzig season. Okay, so this is a side that Dejan Bailey has been linked to quite a lot in this series. Uh, Man United versus Liverpool were away from home at Anfield. And so we're playing against Liverpool again. We've already beaten them in the Community Shield quite convincingly. We beat them 3-1. I know I said we beat them 3-0 uh, at the start of the series, but I actually forgot they scored a consolation. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm pretty sure Liverpool would have hoped Bailey would have been wearing a Liverpool top whilst playing at Anfield. But we're here wearing the white away jersey. Here's uh, Malassia. He finds Dejan Bailey down the line. Getting ourselves involved early on. Give that to Rashford. Going to drift into the middle. Maybe give Musiala an option. I think that's what he was hoping to find them behind. Oh, I'll try to come short for that. Oh, Rashford finds Bailey in the middle, in the gap. Going to give that to Ericsson. Anthony. Oh, ball with the shot. Good shot there. Good shot testing out Ellison. So far, we've only had the one shot on target as uh, Liverpool continue to aim for the left-hand side of our defence. I think Molasse is definitely going to need some help. He's got a lot running at him. Anthony should be giving him an option down the line. There we go. Anthony over the top. There we go. Anthony plays, plays it to Bailey. Bailey finds Musiala. There's an assist. There's an assist. Oh, the player that's been targeted by Liverpool <laughs> plays a hand in the goal that scored against them on their own soil. I just feel like we're more effective in the middle. If Anthony keeps drifting inwards, we're not going to get much or create much. So it's a good thing uh, that we forced him to go out wide into his natural position because then we managed to play that final ball. Come on, dish that out to the right. Take that down. Anthony overlap. Anthony overlap. There we go. Br brilliant from the Brazilian. Back on the inside. Doesn't need to turn back, but he does. But he still finds Dejan Bailey. Dejan Bailey in front of goal. Dejan Bailey in front of goal. We've got Marcus Rashford right there. He should be putting that away. We should have probably shot ourselves. But at the end of the day, we tried. We tried something out of the box, out of the ordinary. Come on. Get off me. Manu Kone's on a Bailey for too long. Oh, I thought that was goal number two. Oh, well done. Well done. Turn. Ericsson finds uh, Dejan Bailey. He's drifted out wide. We've got Bar trying to overlap. We need Bar's help. We give that to Bar with a flare pass. Oh, he's... Referee, is that a penalty? He's given a pen. The referee's pointed to the spot. Penalty's given. He's awarded it. I think Rashford's going to take this one. Oh, it's Dejan Bailey. Looks like I've uh, removed Rashford from penalty duties. Go on, top left. There we go. There we go. No nonsense. Top left. We bagged the second goal. The Jean Bailey on the score sheet yet again. A 2 0 up <laughs> just before half time. Nuno Mendes. Go and put a foot in Anthony. We're doing well defensively, shutting them out, especially on the wing. Doing a lot of sacrificing in this game. Drifting out wide to supply that extra option. We've got Musiala in the centre. I'm going to give that to him. Musiala, Rashford. Rashford get the shot off. It's blocked by Sabelda. Sabeldia. There we go, Anthony, Bailey, referee. Come on, he, he, cut, he did get a nick on him. Last time uh, we played against Everton, we went into the interval 2-1 up. 
So maybe this gives us uh, more time or less time to defend our lead. Malasia, oh, there we go. Deshaun Bailey, referee. Come on, man. No advantage as well. Maybe I should have passed it in, into Musiala, but we should have got an advantage. Again, referee's not protecting us. Well, go to Lissandro. Why would you go to Ericsson, who's heavily marked? Like, the decision-making from the AI is poor. Rafinha into Kone. Oh, what a save from Onana. It should be 2-1. Okay, substitution's being made. Mason Mount is on for Ericsson. That's what I love to see. There we go. Luis Diaz. Ball in. Oh, Shua Mane with the free head up. Good save there by Onana. Didn't mean to focus on uh, Bailey in that moment. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, Asa Milan Ravella ruined <laughs> our cut run. Oh, uh, there we go. What, what a pass there. What um, what good passing there. There we go, Dejan Bailey. Dejan Bailey. Go on, Hegger the Bailey. Hegger the Bailey. Heg <laughs> I was going to pass it to Rashford, I promise. I was actually going to pass it to him. <laughs> I, I thought getting further and closer to the penalty area would have benefited Rashford in front of goal. I'm going to switch that play to Anthony. Cut that. We still got it in our lockup. We still got it in our lockup, boys. But running that players and being direct, that's uh, what Sancho brings and gives to us. Well done, uh, Bailey. I'm going to play that to the right. Anthony into Mount. Oh, what a ball by Mount into ball. We're going to try to come up far post. Oh, no. Anthony. Bailey. First touch was decent. Oh, come on. I was going to dink over the top to anyone that was overlapping. This will take us up to 13 points on the table. Dejan Bailey takes on the first player. Takes on more. Oh, I thought we was going to get through. Go on. Oh, we win the ball back. Go on, Rashford. Gives that to Jaden Sancho, who buries it. 3-0. Liverpool have been caught in possession at the back. They've not really known what to do since going 2-0 down. Every avenue that they've tried to attack us from, we've closed it down. Okay, ball played in behind Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz. It's been really wasteful. It's Gakpo. Again, Liverpool really wasteful in front of goal. We should count ourselves lucky because the number of occasions they've been in front of goal, it could easily have been 3-3, three, 3-2, three, three, maybe in 4-3 to them. But that's not how it's worked. That's not how the cookies crumbled in this game. We've come out with all three points. We've won 3-0 in Liverpool's back garden. The Jean Bailey scores again from the spot. But he did get himself an assist. Uh, look at that. Liverpool really dominated possession. 61% to our 39. It kind of reminds me of AC Milan. But our XG was a bit higher than this. A lot of their shots were getting blocked and charged down. That could be the factor behind that. Um, in terms of our, our match performance, we got a 9.3. One goal, one assist. Musial got himself a goal. So did Sancho. Rashford got an assist. And a top performance at the back from Boa and Onana. Three out of three objectives completed. I love saying that at the end of a game. So uh, we didn't complete the enhanced objective, which was to, to hit a match rating of 10, but we got a 9.3, we got two goal involvements, and we ended up winning the game. We managed to score a victory in the derby, so yeah, we played really well. I'm going to praise the teammates, as it was a really good team performance. Kind words coming from Caleb Wall, you know what it means to come out on top in a derby. Really like what you said in your interview. Uh, come on, still on top of the table, by uh, goals for all, and goal difference now. I think goal difference is carrying us at the moment, but we got the most goals scored so far in the League 5 games played next up is a game against Galatasaray we are familiar with uh, European football and the Champions League but we're not familiar in the sense of being winners of it which is quite unfortunate uh, hopefully we get off to a good start maybe we could talk about our um, our chances of winning it afterwards if we make it to the knockout phase i could probably evaluate how we've done in the group phase and then we could go from there but we are going to start off strong again we don't have donny van der beek involved but we've got scott mctomney who's got higher overall so that's a bit more promising i feel like we're, we're set up a bit more defensive though now that we've got uh, mctomney next to ericsson oh come on we don't need that we've got a knock already not to look past them but i think this is a, a game where we should be trying to score as many goals as possible Oh, there we go. Oh, good football. Good football. Oh, well, we've done we've done too much there. That was good football, that. I think the knock over his head is also putting me off. Uh, Bailey. Give that to Musiala. Good footwork by Musiala. Strafe dribbles in tight pos uh, positions. There we go. Dejan Bailey picks up a pass for Rashford. It's a simple goal. Uh, first... Uh, Strike on goal, it's gone in. Uh, that's another assist to add to the board. We did mention injuries at the start of this episode. I just hope I haven't jinxed the Jean Bailey season. Uh, let's see if we can shake this knockoff whilst trying our hardest to play football. Play for the badge. There we 
Go. Malasia goes through the legs of uh, Sam, uh, Samuel. Well done, Bart. Get that out. Anthony follows up. Dejan Bailey gives that to Musiala. He's running down this right-hand side. He's got Rashford in support. Marcus Rashford. Give him better support than that. Give that to Bailey. Musiala finds Bailey. Bailey finds the bottom left corner with his left foot. His weak foot. It doesn't look uh, doesn't look like his weak foot. <laughs> oh, that was a sweet finish. He's injured <laughs> again. Uh, I just hope that um, it's not going to take us off the field or give us some sort of setback in the menu. But let's continue to play our football and see if we can shake it off. Dermabay. Yunus. Well done, Malassia. Good interception there. There's Scott McTomney. Gives it to Rashford, who does a one to Bailey. Going up the line again. Well done, Rashford. Times that well. Times that well. Go on, Musiala. Go on, Musiala. We check on the inside. Musiala finds Anthony. Anthony doesn't hit the back of the net. Gunai with a brilliant save. Bailey. Into Bar. Ericsson. Oh, I'll try to find Bar on the inside. I'm going to do some defensive work now. Since we sent Bar forward. We're really well retaining the possession I think this is the sort of side we need to play against in order to be the dominant ones okay Musiala over the top he took too long oh he's on side Bailey he's on side <laughs> oh my god I'm used to that not coming off <laughs> he's not the same Firmino that he was at Liverpool but give him the ball to feet then he might cause issues oh well done Dejan Bailey nicks the ball off Davison Sanchez why is Rashford so close to Bailey? Like, come on, man. Space out. Space away. Space out. I shouldn't have done that, but he should have spaced out. Why is he running towards Bailey? There was Oglu. Into Artokoglu. Well done, Bart. He wins the ball over the top. Do it over the top. He does that on the ground on the inside instead. Bailey. Go on, Rashford. Returns that to Bailey. Bailey. <sighs> Caught in possession again. Go on, Anthony. Bailey, outside the box. Oh, we clipped the post. We've clipped the post. I thought it was going to go wide for a second. Eunice. Oh, the ball's drilled into the middle. Derma Bay, what a save from Onana. I know it's hit right at him, but <laughs> the pace that the shot was struck at, he hit it first time as well. We've had enough. We've had enough now. It's too much passive play. We're bored of it. So the Ben Yedder, he's going to play the remaining minutes. Dejan Bay managed to get a 9.2 for his match rating. A shot conversion was not as uh, as good as they were hoping. 70% um, wasn't achieved. We got 33% instead, but it was kind of flipped around with the successful dribbles because we achieved 70% for that. And we ended up winning 2-0 against Galatasaray. Again, we didn't come out as a the side with, the, with, with more possession, but we've done the most with the possession. That's all that really matters. We've got good performances around the pitch. Um, as you guys can see, we managed to get, um, we managed to get a 9.1. Musiala got 8.1. We've got a 8.6 from uh, Lissandro Martinez, who did defend really well. I must admit, it's quite weird seeing Gabriel and Militao with a Man United shirt and uh, not seeing Harry Maguire and Lindelof and all of that play for United is a breath of fresh air. Uh, we are going to be playing against Newcastle United in this episode, I already mentioned. Uh, we have them right now and they're sitting fifth place. Fifth place with eight points on the table. We have 13. Victories left, right and centre. We've been playing really well so far and uh, I feel like, tactically, I thought we was going to be worse because uh, I, I was going off what I've experienced at AC Milan and um, yeah at AC Milan we, we suffered because a lot of our midfielders just weren't good enough to be in the starting 11 and the fact that we had better players in the reserves or on the bench it really hurts me and it seems to be the same f um, thing going on here um, at Man United but it doesn't really hinder us in game we, we do press as a unit which kind of reminds me of RB Leipzig we do create chances even if we barely have the ball uh, yeah, it just feels a bit different. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I don't uh, get egg on my face come the end of the season. Why is Isco at our club? Why is he even here? Uh, we just need to keep pulling together as a unit. Musiala, Hannibal finds uh, Dejan Bailey on the edge of the box. Dejan Bailey, oh, I was going to try crack a shot. Joe Linton uh, muscles him off the ball. Don't allow Gordon in the gap. Don't allow Gordon. You guys are just allowing Gordon to run through. Why are they allowing Gordon to run through? We've been punished. 1-0 to Newcastle United. None of them looked like they were accelerating. They all looked like they were jogging behind them. Uh, we got a goal down. Bailey. 
Got uh, Malassia on the outside. Malassia should have passed it into Rashford. It's a poor cross. Anthony Gordon cuts in. Joe Linton takes a shot, fires it right on Onana. Great save by Onana. Oh, tried something there. Go on, Musiala. Back into Bailey. Anthony. No, Musiala instead. Back into Bailey. It's like we're just playing with two players. Let's go. Oh, Deshaun Bailey. Uh, on the wrong side of the right hand post. Musiala. Malassia. Go on, Bailey. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Malassia. Malassia. He just hasn't got the ball. When I say that, I mean he just hasn't got a cross on him. Ball goes in. Bar heads that down, flicks it on. Go on, Bar. Go on, let's keep trying. Keep trying, Musiala. Hannah Ball gets a shot off. Another shot off. It's blocked. Go on, Bailey. Anthony. 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 And Lascelles uh, wrestles him off the ball. Let's go, Bailey. Go on, Musiala, back into Bailey, who's in the gap. Bailey takes an extra touch, but that's only because the defender's dragging him. Referee, do your freaking job. Freaking hell, three games in a row. It's like we don't have a referee on the field. May as well just call it EAFC Street, because we can't call it FIFA Street no more. <laughs> that sounds like a stupid name. <laughs> or Volta. I don't know why we just didn't say Volta. Ball goes in. <laughs> Isak, come on, close him down. Close down, close down Willock. Don't allow him to pick up the next pass. Don't allow him. Thank you. Thank you, Martinez. There we go, Dejan Bailey. Going to turn out. Give that to Anthony on the right-hand side. Go up the line, go up the line. No, he goes to Musiala. He gives that to Dejan Bailey. Bailey, we're going to pick up Marcus Rashford in front of goal. 1-1. One, one. Rashford continues to score. Right now, it seems like we're feeding him goals. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Because Rashford, he's not really playing well in terms of the team um, playing in the, uh, as a team. He's not pulling with us. I feel like he's playing against us sometimes, but... He finds himself uh, in open space. Come on, stop playing it out from the back. It's scary stuff that they're doing. Passing around with Onana, or right in front of Onana. Go, give that to Anthony. There's Musiala. Musiala bursting forward. Plays it into Rashford, who flicks it on. Hannibal finished that. Wasteful, really wasteful, but unlucky at the same time because that was a brilliant breakaway. Martin switches play, Bar takes it down on his chest, go on, release that. Bailey can receive. Anthony, return it. Bailey, gonna go across the field into Rash, not Rashford, Malassia. It's a mistake there. He goes back across the field, what a ball into Anthony. Anthony, back post. I think we was asking for too much. He doesn't normally cross in real life anyway. Direct though. Oh, Bailey. Flicks it over. A player's head over the top. Go on, Musiala. Strike that. He should have hit that first time. Should have allowed it to drop down on the volley or let it bounce once it hit on the half volley. Don't take it down in your chest. It just slows it down. Hannibal. Oh, what a ball from the Frenchman. Oh, he's not even representing France anymore. Who cares? He's, he's found Dejan Bailey. Dejan Bailey <laughs> tried to go for the near post. Pope has denied us. Oh, we need to find um, another avenue. I don't think near post is going to work for us. Go on, Melissa. Do it quick. Do it quick. Thinking about it too much. Well done, Bailey. Good footwork. Going to go on the inside of AWB. Oh, we still got the ball. Oh, Rashford shoots. Right at the goalkeeper. I don't know how Rasmus Hoyland feels in real life. Except it's probably 10 times worse for him. This is just shocking, man. So many opportunities to play a ball in mind. We just don't have the quality on the ball. Or we just don't have the ideas. Go on, Anthony. Musiala. Go on, Musiala. Bailey, back into Bailey. What's he doing? Back into Bailey. Back into Bailey. Back into Bailey. Oh, my goodness. Me, man. And why is Donny van der Beek leaving that? Oh, no, I'm playing with a bunch of plebs. Ten Hag, speak to your guy. He's your guy since Ajax, and he's moving like a madman. Oh, my God. We should have come out as victors in this game. 
should have definitely come out as victors in this game. So many moments. Dejan May looked like he wanted to make a run in behind or he was about to break free if the ball was played. And we just got ignored. Too many passes being played before the killer ball. I think that's the issue now. Uh, we need more quality in the midfield. But yeah, 57% possession, it means absolutely nothing. I feel like when we have more possession, we're less effective. That's what it's coming across as to me. 2.0 uh, to their 1.0 XG. Uh, we were man of the match, surprisingly. I felt like uh, in the second half, we had a bit of a graveyard shift. We did get a lot of the ball, but only when we dropped deep and linked up. Uh, we only got an assist for this game, which is quite accurate as we didn't have too many opportunities ourselves in front of goal. Two out of the three objectives complete and again man of the match has given to Dejan Bailey which is a good thing to see team possession was 2% beneath the target which is quite annoying as well okay we're at the end of the episode now and I think we should end it here simply because if we play Everton we may as well just play literally every game of the season um, but yeah I think we should kickstart our Carabao Cup camp campaign off camera if we do well or do bad you guys will get a rundown of that we're going to regroup for the Manchester City game away from home we have Ajax and then Tottenham Hotspur that will be the episode after that and we should be playing it these three games off camera or these four games off camera so that will be from um, Burnley up until Nottingham Forest and we regroup for the episode after the next for the Barcelona encounter so that's how we're going to try and do this series so we can blitz through it and um, yeah I need to be uploading more in terms of um, this series and when it comes to the table uh, before we leave we should check the table so as you guys can see we're level on points with two other clubs uh, Aston Villa and Spurs we're ahead on goal difference and uh, yeah beneath us is uh, Chelsea and Arsenal and Nottingham Forest all three of those sides are level on points again table barely taking its shape we barely played the series that, hence why we want to probably fast, um, fast track ourselves to certain um, certain matches and certain points of the season. So for the season, Dejan Bailey has 10 goals and 7 assists. So that's 17 goal involvements and 8 appearances. This guy, he's literally got the world at his feet. 9.10 is his average rating so far with only 8 games played. But yeah, if you made it this far, smash that like button, sub to the channel if you are new and also hit the notification bell so you know if I want to go live, premiere video or upload one. I'd like to see you guys for the next installment. I hope to see you there, man. Really do. Take care for now. Peace.